Hey friends. Hey gang. Hey Jamie Battles, how are you? Great to see you. Hope you are well. Bob Guinan, good morning. Great to see you. Hey Vicky, how are you? It's a, I know, it's a neat spot, isn't it? It is beautiful here, yeah, good morning. Oh, you know, if you can catch out, check out the cross right back there. Pretty neat. Good morning, Priscilla. How are you? Glad you're here. How is everyone? Hi, Linda. Welcome. Glad you're here today. Hey. What a glorious day this is. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. For sure. Good morning, friends. Okay, I see a few more people making their way in. We'll give them one, give them a few more minutes. So glad that uh, we had the chance last night at uh, to. Uh, do some feeding of our neighbors down with our partners at First Baptist Church, and that was great fun. Um, it's always a great, uh, it's always a great time. So where am I? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so I'll tell you in a sec. Yeah. So good morning, Bonnie. Glad you're here. So hope everyone is well. All right, let's get going this morning. It is this, the third day of November at 1111, and I am glad that you're with us. I'm glad that you're on this journey, that uh, I might have this chance to uh, spend a little time with you and spend a little time in this beautiful and glorious place. This, uh, this we, I am at uh, Church of Our Savior in uh, Somerset. Uh, this little Episcopal church, we've been just getting, wrapping up the Greater Fall River clergy meeting. So, you know, yeah, nothing more riveting than that, uh, than uh, a bunch of clergy getting together. Um, but it, uh, it is always a great to, uh, to explore the wider fellowship and to reach out and beyond, uh, beyond that. And they have this little beautiful chapel, which I, I, out, outdoor chapel, which I just thought was elegant. If you can see behind me, there are these little seats, and then they have the cross, which is up there, laying there, which the, they stand up for for when they have an outdoor chapel event, and it's so glorious. And it it uh, it makes me remember that this is the day that the Lord has made, that He made this day for you and for I, that this day was made. It's not it's not a thing that happened. You know that that's what it, it's so interesting. We've been uh, we had Bible study this morning as well, which was which has been which has been really fun. And we and we're doing the book of James. And in the book of James, I'll try not to repeat Bible study, but uh, in the book of James, in this study, one of the things that is that that there is this moment where James uh, kind of flies in the face of a lot of what the uh, the 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 wider teaching of Christianity says and says. Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. That this time, this idea that that uh, that 
you know, we can have a warm chocolatey feeling in our heart. We can have a, a notion that we should, you know, that uh, we can have genuine caring. We can have, and but that there is a way in which that that there is work involved. There is that, and that in the living out of that chocolatey feeling in our heart or that right understanding in our mind, there's a thing to be done, and there's a there's a making involved. I mean, you know, our our entire journey, our entire biblical basis begins with what the creation story and something being created creation being created all of this beauty that is just above me and behind me and in front of me and around me and uh, and to the left of me and to the right of me all of this was made it was created and we get to be creators too this is the beauty of this is that that we get to be co-creators with God. We get to be co-redeemers with God in the work that we're about in this world. That's the that's the amazing thing about this walk. You know, it's so easy. And I I, I do it all the time. And I'm sure we and we, I think we all fall into it in this modern age that that we look at a thing or we look at a we, we encounter the world or we whatever and we, we, we forget with that that all the things were made. That we think that you know the tree just grew, or the the you know the the uh, you know the device just came out of the Amazon box, or the the you know the 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 steak just came out of the cellophane wrapper, you know whatever it is that that there's there's this way in which we 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 lose the, our our connection to the fact of the to the making of things, and to the and that the making of things is actually our foundational and fundamental and most basic things that we can do as people of faith is to just make something. To be, and, this, and that whole idea that fakes without, faith without works is dead. I don't think, and, and, and now, you know, that, that, that phrase, I've always been cagey of it because it's, it's often been used as a kind of a cudgel to beat people with about how, you know, this idea that you're not doing enough or you're not, you're not giving enough, you're not whatever, you're not enough. Somehow you're not enough. But that's not at all what it's saying. It's saying that when you're in the middle of, ad, when you're middle of adversity or when you're in the middle of creation, when you're in the middle of the nothing, which is what creation was, the, thing that, the best thing that you can do is do something. Do something. That you, and, that, and that God's doing of something resulted in all that you see behind me and people's doing of something is this beautiful little chapel that's laying itself out on the ground where people would come to pray and to contemplate and God's inner and the intersection of that doing of something is right there in that cross you know there's a reason the cross is the shape that it is God coming into the world, God coming into time and space, time and space being this line that goes forward, God coming into it with us, God making it with us. So my hope today is that you'll enjoy the beauty of this place, you'll enjoy the beauty of these colors and the per perfect way in which the light is shining in them. I'm going to see if I can turn myself around here. And you can see maybe the light shining through them in, the, in beauty. But in all of this, you might understand the making of the thing. In the making of the world, the making of beauty, the making of truth, the making of love, the making of story, the making of creation. All of it is a thing that is is a little doing thing. And it's, the, and it's an invitation to this, this little line from James where faith without works is dead. Friends, you and I are creators made in the image of God because God was first a creator. God was first a builder. So my hope is that you will go build your something something beautiful and understand and this is the thing understand that it's not just the building of the thing 
that's great. And it's not even just the beauty of the building of the thing. But it is the fact that the very beauty itself, the very beauty itself, that you can look at a thing that is created and you can say, oh, that's beautiful. We can look at this tree behind me and we can say, that is magnificent. That is beautiful. And we can understand that that beauty was created too. And that you were a, you were a vessel designed with the eyes to see it and the nose to smell it and the, and the wonders to encounter it. And the and the briskness of the, the uh, that that would fall on your cheek were you standing here with me. Oh, you're standing here with me. That all this beauty was a created thing too. It didn't just happen. It didn't just pop out of the ground. It just didn't arrive in an Amazon box. And so that when we are called to build, when we are called to Take note that this is the day that the Lord has made, that the making of it is not just the physical things. We're so trapped in materialism, but it is the beauty itself. It's the truth itself that the physical world, that this, all of this is ugliness, is garish compared to the true manner of beauty to the true manner of truth in which we all are, are, are living our lives and are encountering all the time. The, all that the really real has to offer us and all of the ways that standing under this big, beautiful tree and those who come to worship in this sacred little space, in this hallowed grove, and that all of us who would point towards the cross between beauty and between worship, that all of us who would point to it would know that we are built of that beauty that God created in this world. We are built of that truth. And we are not only built of it, but we are organs built to receive it in our own living of our works in the, in the days. So go do something today. Go build something beautiful. I don't care if it's a cappuccini. I don't care if it is a. Uh, I don't care if it's a ham sandwich. I don't care if it's a, if it is a, a, a Mona Lisa. Go and create something, and understand it's not just you inconveniencing a bunch of molecules or a bunch of material, but it, but it is the a manifestation, a living incarnation of the beauty that created that tree, the love that draws people to create this, little, this beautiful little chapel in the woods, and the God that loves us so much, he came on a cross to unite the world, to overcome hell, and to bring us all into that beauty. This is what you're born for, friends. This is what you're born for. It is my hope that you will understand that when you hear those words of James, faith without works is dead. It is not a criticism or a critique, but rather it is a promise. It is a promise that every time you build into something, every time you create into something, you are bringing life. You are bringing life. And in life is beauty. In life is truth. In life is wonder. In life is Christ Jesus himself. All right, friends. I hope wherever you are, you will get to enjoy the beauty of this day the way I'm getting to enjoy this space. So I'm going to go sit for a minute and uh, enjoy this place and then be about my day. I hope you'll do the same in about the building of beauty in your life today. All right. Peace and grace, my friends. We'll pick it up tomorrow with another 1111.